I think you pretty much answered my question, but uh, basically what I was going to ask is, uh, along the other alternatives, um, is there, I think, pretty much, uh, is there an alternative to institutional means of production? And uh, I think... Are there other ways of arranging production? Yeah, I mean, it, you sort of seem to be hinting that uh, the, the way to go is to sort of impose regulations that would ensure more democratic institutions in the means of production. Is that... Well, I think it's not so much imposed regulations that would ensure it. I, I, I think uh, absolutist institutions should not be given legal status. I don't think we should give legal status to organic entities that stand over and above the rights of individuals, whether they're called fascism or Bolshevism or corporations or whatever. Uh, so uh, I, I do think that in human rights come from, you know, nat are, are sort of rooted in human nature, really and that these uh, collectivist institutions are not persons that shouldn't have rights. Uh, how should uh, production be organized? Well, you know, I don't think that's a trivial question to answer. You have to sort of experiment. But the principles ought to be, I think, uh, pretty much the ones that were expressed by mill hands in Lowell a century ago. Uh, those who work in the mills ought to own them. And they ought to carry out uh, democratic decision-making about how they work in conjunction with communities who play a role as consumers and families and participants and so on. There are a lot of modalities in which that could be worked out, but I don't... My, I mean, there are people who, in fact, have sketched out detailed proposals. Personally, I'm a little skeptical. I don't think anyone's smart enough to design a society, at least. I don't know how. But I think you have to sort of try, you know, try various things, see how they work, uh, and so on.